Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. our bestest, trashiest car ever. It's already been driven like four miles and nothing has gone wrong. So of course, we head to the burnout. really worried that the diff was open based on what we were doing in the shop, but yeah! clearly we got two tire fire. It works! <laughs> ah, see, I told you it wasn't an open diff. Look at that. How come you didn't <laughs> grab second? Oh, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> Five days. I <laughs> made it happen. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! No kisses, all right? <laughs> Wait till you see it in the next episode of Roadkill, where we drive that thing to Roadkill Night! This is a recipe that always works. You buy the very worst example of your favorite car, get a bunch of used parts you have lying around, lock your friends in the garage for a week with the only goal being to just make it run and drive. We did that. In fact, the Dumpster Fire Daytona actually does burnouts. Sure, she's not perfect, and she does need a little refinement, which we're going to do off camera before road tripping this thing all the way to Roadkill Nights in Michigan, and you're going to see that on an upcoming episode of Roadkill.